hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i'm currently in congo lubumbashi to be specific and i'm about to go have drinks i'm leaving in about five minutes uh just waiting for my driver to come i have a taxi driver that drives me around that i call whenever i need to get around just because i don't have a car in congo anymore so yeah i use him to like um take me places for some reason you know being in congo always makes me feel like i'm a stranger in my own country it's so weird i don't know if anybody else can relate somebody that has lived outside of congo and you occasionally come back or you've been to congo to visit but you know you feel at home but you also feel like a stranger at the same time does that make any sense so yeah that's how i feel Oui. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Remember when you said It doesn't get better than this Only a fool to let you go It got into my head Am I about to lose myself? When will all of this fade away? Let me quickly show you the outside this place is called La Terrasse. It's at Hypnose. I've shown Hypnose before in my previous video when I was lost in Congo. So this is how the place looks. Today I'm at Latte Lounge. Um, the drinks were okay. I also had a burger, which was fine. I just needed a place to work, a quiet place to work. So this is kind of like a cafe. For the first time I'm starting to realize Nothing's ever black and white And I'm caught up in the first night Now it doesn't feel right I'll just have to say goodbye One last time I know that it's hopeless But It's really difficult for me to find places to work at here in Congo, especially a cafe. After looking, I finally decided to go to this place called Hotel Caravia, Pullman Hotel Caravia. There's also one in Kinshasa, if I'm not mistaken. I actually loved being here. It was really peaceful. This is just me uh, getting settled to start working. I already have my drink. I'm currently doing a course in digital marketing. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. Also got really hot, so I had to put on my glasses. Look at how pretty this place looks. It's so peaceful. I really loved being here. I ordered a virgin mojito. That's just like the worst mojito I've ever had because it was just Sprite and mint leaves. Which is the rent? Mm 
Do you have the landlord's account number? Yes. I don't want to see you cry again And no matter how the story ends I'll always be there for you Cause I see colors for the first time I'm starting to realize at those points, I decided to take a little break just to stretch my legs because I've been sitting for a while. Remember when you said It doesn't get better than this Only a fool to let you go You got into my Am I about to lose myself? Where will all of this fade away? At this point, I'm tired, waiting for my driver to come pick me up, and he couldn't make it. He was all the way at the airport, so I was stranded. I had to wait for my husband to be done with work so he can come pick me up. See colors for the first time. I'm starting to realize nothing's ever black and white. And I'm caught up in the first night Now it doesn't feel right I'll just have to say goodbye One last time I know that it's all I'm actually having my plantains from yesterday so I ended up staying at Caravia till late because uh, my taxi driver, the taxi driver that dropped me, couldn't come pick me up. Even though I had told him that I'll call him back to come pick me up, he gave me stories telling me that he was at the airport. So I have two of them. I have one that I usually call who was busy yesterday, he was at the mosque, so that couldn't work. I got another one, that's the one that dropped me yesterday. I think having a car in Lubumbashi is a lot better than relying on these taxis. I even tried uh, finding like some type of Uber or something similar to that on the internet and I couldn't find it. But I did find random numbers that I really wasn't sure I wanted to call. So that's just not reliable. I think it would have been really nice if there was like a Uber system here in Lubumbashi as well. But I think in Kinshasa they have something similar. It would have been really nice. Next time I'm actually scared to go out to be dropped somewhere and not nobody to come pick me up. Because what if my husband is not around? Just like yesterday, the taxi driver that was supposed to pick me up couldn't pick me up because... He gave me stories that he was at the airport, so I was stranded, basically. So I had to wait for my husband to get off work so he can come pick me up. And that was, like, really late. But I enjoyed just the tranquility, just being there. It was so peaceful. I got some work done. Um, I ate my pizza. Didn't finish the whole thing. I kept some for my husband. But it was pretty cool. Um, so, yeah. Today I want to make um, a candle. So I've been exploring candle making recently and I've made about two candles. One was okay, the other one was a flop. I want to try make another one and see how it goes. My problem with candle making so far is the scent. Um, I don't seem to get the scent right. Whenever I burn the candle, I can't really smell it. That's where my problem is. So I'm going to try it again. I'm going to keep trying. That's like my little hobby right now. So today is Saturday. I have some time to do that. I'm going to make the candle and see how it goes.
I've tried making a candle before and the first one that I made was this one. With this one I can definitely smell the, what you call it? There's definitely a cold straw. I can get a smell from it but the problem with this one is, you can see but it looks a bit weird even when I use the hot gun. Yeah, much better. So this is how it looks. Even when I tried fixing it up, there are these holes on it. So I don't know what to do with this one. This was my first test. And I made another one, which was this one. And the burn on this one is just, it's just not burning right. And I couldn't smell any fragrance from this one. I also made the jar all by myself, which I'm really proud of. Let's see how the third one comes along. Hopefully third time is a charm. So yeah. Because we are exploring the city, I googled the place to go eat and when we got there, I was really disappointed. So we decided to leave and go somewhere else. just trying to fix this we I literally just wore it without really fixing it properly
Welcome to another day on the vlog. Um, we are currently at Kahawa, trying to get some smoothies. I'm getting myself a bubble tea, just waiting for my husband in the car to get us the drinks. So as I was saying, I'm waiting for my husband in the car to get us the drinks. Uh, today is Sunday, so we're just going, we're just gallivanting around basically. <laughs> gallivanting around, going places. So yeah. Uh, Yeah. 